posting closing entries, I have a list here. One of the ones that we have um, that I have set up in the uh, QuickBooks Online Sample File is depreciation expense, right? So that is something generally what happens with depreciation expense for people is that they're given a number to post monthly or quarterly um, from their CPA, right? And then at the end of the year, we will adjust to true up to whatever the total should be. So it's a rough estimate for what we think our depreciation for, should be for the year based on prior years, That's what we usually do, okay? Now, of course, I could just go straight in and create a journal entry here. Um, but for month and close entries, um, most of the time they are pretty consistent. So the best thing to do is to set them up as a memorized transaction, right? So um, I would come into the journal entry the first time, I would uh, put in, it doesn't really matter the date because I'm not going to post it. I could add in um, the accounts. So we have depreciation of the truck, right? So this is our balance sheet account, even though it's not really clear when you click this drop down here of what we're looking at. Um, but uh, so probably that's a good indicator that we need to do some like headers and sub accounts um, so you make sure you're posting to the right one or put in depreciation expense down here not really great um how we how we see those but the depreciation right on the balance sheet should be a contra so it should be a credit of some kind of amount if you have a fixed amount that you want to put in there you can you don't necessarily have to you can put in it as zero and then the other side would be our depreciation expense account um, as well Okay, so once I have this journal entry in here, I can click make reoccurring. I can do the template, you know, monthly depreciation. You can make it scheduled, um, you know, and have it post a certain amount of days in the future. I mean, in advance, right? So I want it to post on the 25th of the month, as an example, so or five days before the end of the month. Um, most of our reoccurring journal entries that we do with customers, we set up as unscheduled and we go in and we run them manually because a lot of times the amounts aren't exactly the same or we want to review the amounts before they're posted. That doesn't mean that you can't, like once it's scheduled, doesn't mean you can't go in and edit it, but you know, we like to try to not post things um, automatically unless it's like actually, we don't have to look at it basically. Um, so leaving it unscheduled, um, would usually be what we do. Uh, so once we have it saved, right, I'm not going to um, save this template because I already created one before we started our webinar. Uh, but if I come up here now and I go down to my reoccurring transactions, then I can see all of my reoccurring transactions. And you can see I created this monthly entries one, and you can click on use. You have to pay attention to the date. So I'm posting this for 7:31. And then you can modify it as needed. All right. So some of the other ones that we see.